we are going to learn about the different layers of abdominal wall. First, we can see the uh, different bony landmarks. This is a siphoid process. Here is a siphoid process. This is the costal margin. And here is the iliac crust. This is the umbilicus. Now we can see the different layers. This is the first layer, skin. Beneath the skin, we have the superficial fascia. This is the umbilicus. And above the umbilicus, the superficial fascia contain only single layer. Below the umbilicus or in the infra-umbilical region, the superficial fascia contain two layers. That is superficial fatty layer and deep membranous layer. Here we can see the superficial fascia with uh, the main content is fat. Next layer is the external oblique abdominis muscle and the aponeurosis. Please note the direction of the external oblique muscle. It is directed downwards, forwards and medially. Now going to next layer. This is the internal oblique muscle. The direction of the internal oblique muscle is just, it is directed at right angles to the external oblique muscle. It is directed uh, upwards, forwards and medially. And beneath the internal oblique muscle, we have the transversus abdominis muscle and its aponeurosis. The fibers of transversus abdominis muscle are horizontally directed. And below the uh, transverse abdominis muscle, there is a fascia transversalis. You can see here a thin layer of fascia. This is a fascia transversalis below the uh, transverse abdominis muscle. And below the fascia transversalis, this is the parietal peritoneum. Uh, parietal peritoneum. And there is an extra peritoneal connective tissue that separates the fascia transversalis from the parietal peritoneum. And here we have reached the viscera. Now we can see one more specimen. This is the in, inner wall of the, the view is from the inner surface of the abdominal wall and this is the parietal peritoneum and this is the region of umbilicus. Below the umbilic, umbilical region or below the umbilicus, the peritoneum presents three folds. This is a median umbilical fold, median umbilical fold containing median umbilical ligament. This is the medial umbilical fold, uh, medial umbilical fold containing the obliterated umbilical artery. And also there is a lateral umbilical fold which contains inferior epigastric artery. So these are the different layers of abdominal wall. So there are eight layers, skin, superficial fascia, external oblique abdominis muscle and saponeurosis, internal oblique muscle and its saponeurosis. Beneath that uh, there is a transverse abdominis muscle and below the transverse abdominis muscle there is a fascia transversalis and uh, there is an extra peritoneal connective tissue separating the fascia transversalis from the parietal peritoneum. And uh, next layer is the parietal peritoneum. That's all. The, the, these are the different layers of abdominal wall. Thank you.